Hey guys, so I brought you outside so that you can actually see the color that my hair turned out because even inside with all of the lights that I had going on, it just wasn't picking up the color properly. So basically what we do have going on here is I actually vlogged through the, this whole process, but this is the 6DL mixed with purple color booster by Guy Tang, his My Identity line. And you can get all of these colors at Cosmoprof. You do need to be a licensed cosmetologist to buy those colors. So I have that up top. So it's basically a deep purple. And then I have going down basically into an ombre is the 8DL and then the 6SS. So that's dusty lavender and then something smoke I can't remember a silver smoke I think is what it's called so that's what I have going down basically like highlights and ombre so I hope that the color is picking up good the Sun is actually like beautiful outside I, I kind of like everything that's happening but I don't know how to turn my flash on I don't know if that would help tremendously or not so this is the final result if you guys want to see my journey and how I got here then definitely keep watching this video again it's a vlog series so it's very ah, like all over the place but I did my best oh my gosh it's not easy to film these types of things I give everyone kudos who actually pulls it off Harley Bible Nicole Guerrero they always film everything so amazing so I'm just like how 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 those are filming goals for sure on my end <laughs> so definitely I hope you guys liked the end result and so I just definitely curled it this is all of my real hair this is not there's no weave or extension in I get that question a lot, but also if you would like to see this makeup look that we have, please comment in the comment section so that I know you guys are interested. It's a purpley, vampy look because I just was feeling super edgy. Um, I don't necessarily recommend you doing your own hair at home, honestly, like from the bottom of my heart. This has been like the highest struggle I think I've ever gone through. I don't know if it's because I have so much hair because I've done it in the past, but it's been super easy just dark brown, whatever, but this was a little bit more technical and trying to do it myself and then trying to explain it to my assistant slash mother on how to help me. Like she actually kind of fudged a little bit, but it's not her fault. She doesn't know what she's doing. So again, these are chemicals you're working with. So you need to be extremely careful and you honestly should just go get your hair done be because like in the end, the products like are always going to add up. I've literally taken three trips to Cosmo Prof. Um, but again, I actually just don't have patience and I didn't think that the styles would do what I you know how I envisioned it in my head and honestly if I went and got it done because I didn't know what I wanted so I just kind of kept going and going and going and I'm like oh sure whatever that's how it turned out so I'm actually really excited at how it turned out and again it's a little bit more purple I think that it's picking up in camera but yeah basically my goal was purple to a smoked finish slash silver so yellow because I've never done anything fun with my hair I've only ever done natural looks let's get into the process so I'm actually going to do a quick hair vlog for you guys and I probably won't talk through most of it because I need to get it done. I'm going to be working with bleach and I'm going to see how this goes but I'm not scared. So I, I did my hair a couple like a week ago and I just don't like the outcome at all. So I'm pretty much going to bleach everything and tone it afterwards. So I'm going to actually go to Cosmoprof, get the toner I need but for now. The baby's asleep, so I need to get this on as fast as possible. Um, do not do your hair at home if you do not know what you're doing, okay? So I work with high volumes. If you've never done your hair before, you need to be extremely careful. You can burn your hair off, you can hurt yourself, you can burn your skin, so do not do it if you do not feel comfortable. I am a licensed cosmetologist. I'm doing this on myself. I am safe to myself and I am sanitary to myself, but this is not something that you should mess around with if you have no idea what you're doing. So you need to stick with the box if that's kind of your go-to, that's the reason they make it, and you go buy it. If you need to do something else, then definitely go get your hair done by a professional. If you decide to do something at home yourself that is on you,
Okay guys, so this is what we are working with. I'm gonna go through and lighten it once more before I decide to do what my toning option is gonna be. So I'm gonna try to get it as light as possible. It's pretty much there, but I did a very blotchy job at the top. Um, and so I just need to fix it and then get it going. So that's what we're going to do. I'm gonna mix and then I will hop back on here. cranky on me there so but he's now asleep right next to me and I have 40 volume <laughs> on my hair and just stressing out a little bit but I'm sure everything will work out so I just wanted to kind of like check in with you guys so I'm doing the back now the back's the worst part because you cannot see and you have to put your arms all the way back there but anyways I'm just getting a little burnt out at this point but this is what we were working with you guys I'm not gonna lie I'm a little scared but I'm kind of excited. So I am trying to shine my light on it so you guys can fully see. So as you can imagine, I left my ends because it cannot hand, handle anymore and they're pretty light. So, so we needed to break the mid shaft like tremendously. That is why I had to do most of the work there. And then I, of course, I needed to get my scalp going too. It's just now starting to burn a little bit, so I gotta be careful. And I gotta take my little guy inside and then get him situated while he can still nap, while I rinse, and then I'm gonna have to go back to Cosmoprof, grab the toner that I want, along with getting dinner for our boyfriend because he's gonna like, wonder where his dinner is when you're trying to multitask and take care of a little guy and trying to do your hair so again i really don't recommend you doing your own hair at home honestly it's so difficult it's so hard but you're gonna do what you're gonna do so so here it is dry it's pretty yellow orangey right now so i just went and got toner and then i will jump back on and show you guys let me get into the light here so here we go. So this is what we got. Pretty bright. I'm pretty exhausted at this point just because I've been running around all day. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on the toner right now. When we're getting home, we'll eat and everything like that. And so I probably won't try it tonight. I will go ahead and jump back on tomorrow. And then I will show you guys the finished result. So good morning. So I grabbed Isaac and we are here at 9.30 to be in Castle Prof any moment. Um, thank God they open at eight because I really wanna get this fixed. I have my mom coming over today to be my backup because it, I got really frustrated and I think I went too fast and I missed so many parts. So I wanna brighten this up and deepen it to be more of a um, violet purple. And then again, it's gonna go into this like silver gray. What happened? Ah. Ah. Okay, so anyways, uh, well, that's what we're doing right now. And hopefully I can film some type of video today. That way I was just like, oh, I can't, I can't get on camera and look like this because it just isn't, I don't know, it's not sending a good message. <laughs> so, good morning guys. I hope you're having a beautiful morning. I don't know how that took me two hours just now, but I had to go to the dollar store after Cosmo Prof to return some of the decorations I did not need for Isaac's um, baptism slash birthday party, which is in three weeks. But I guess they don't do refunds. Even if you have the receipt, you have to exchange things and it can't be food or drinks, okay? But anyways, I just had to go pick out stuff for like the party favors and that was a, a freaking challenge. Holy cow, like nothing comes in big packages anymore and I'm like, I'm gonna pay a dollar for a stupid sport gun, so. I actually ended up getting da, 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 da. Um, I ended up getting kind of cool things I think but I just couldn't get a freaking like theme together because I got play-doh and like all of them were missing. I just dug through a bunch because it did come in an eight pack and I thought that was pretty cool. So yeah, the play-doh comes in eight packs and then I got some play-doh stencils which came in a 20 pack and then I got some chalk and so I plan to do like little cardboards so I'll paint chalkboard paint on them and that way the kids could just play with it or whatever while they're there. Um, I have some with sunglasses, necklaces, that kind of stuff. So just little kid stuff, but it's actually extremely hard. And again, you don't want it to be super expensive. So just wanted to fill you guys in and that took me over an hour. In. 
my closet filming like normal people. So we are going to fix my hair today because it did not come out how I wanted it to. <laughs> so it's just blotchy. It's like randomly purple. It looks like if I just washed it like 4,000 times and this is kind of like a time for an update. Or I touched my hair twice that day. I was tired. I was just like over it. So, but my mom's going to help me right now. So we are going to get that started. And I just kind of wanted to take a picture of all the colors I'm going to do. So hopefully this turns out. And if it does, I will give you guys the formulation. And this is where my thought process is. I have currently, I'm basically a seven all around because I mixed a six and an eight, six and an eight basically. So, so top and bottom. And then I actually put like a straight seven ash on my ends, but then I kind of merged it all together. Like I said, a hot mess. Um, so this is the 6DL by Guy Tang. It's my identity. So I just found out that he had his own hairline. And I I do like it. Like, again, if this was a better application, we wouldn't be having this issue right now. But I was just... I just don't recommend you guys doing your hair at home. Because it's so stressful. It's annoying. And especially when you have hair, like, all this hair, you know, like it's longer now, it's thick. It always takes me so long to get it done in the salon because I have a lot of hair. So this is, again, I, I got the 6DL, so that, that stands for Dusty Lavender. And then I grabbed the booster. So this is the Ultraviolet Dual Booster Color Max. So, you know, he's pretty awesome on YouTube, so I'm sure his color formulations are awesome. But again, this is my own little... I'm formulating the color how I think it's going to work out. And then, so towards the bottom to keep it more smoky, but just like a hint of lavender, I grabbed the 6SS, which is the smoke. So silver smoke. And then I grabbed the 8DL demi-permanent. So I got demi-permanent because they do not need lift. So if you grabbed permanent, it would supposedly lift if you had natural canvas, but obviously mine is not natural, which, which is why I lightened it. And then I got the 8DL, which is the Dusty Lavender. So in my head, it should be like this pastel-y. Like, so basically anything that's left over, it should just kind of fill in, in the gaps. Like it shouldn't intensify what I already have as long as I formulate correctly. I think. Like that's what should happen. But this is why when I went to Cosmoprof, I was like, I just can't think anymore. Like the day of. And I was just like, please steer me in the right direction. I don't even know what I wanted. I was done. I, I did not know what I wanted anymore. So... Like I said, this is where we are. <laughs> so wish me luck, okay? And I will give you guys an update. And I filmed everything aside from when I toned it myself, but it's so, like, what was I gonna teach you? How not to do it, you know? So. Definitely subscribe to my channel to see more. I'm definitely doing more of the vlog series on my channel because I do need to let you guys in more and I need to have more fun with my life. So hey, why not? I'm gonna film it. Let's do it. So anyways, definitely come back to my channel to see weekly videos. I'm going to try to get two to three up per week. And watch this video and I'll talk to you soon. Arms tired. I'm in my backyard, so I was wanting to show you guys exactly what my hair color looks like, but why is it just not picking up how I want? So beware the sun. I need a selfie stick. Well, I have my big old Canon camera. I use the EOS Ripple T3i. No, I'm just kidding. It's just the way I said that. Maybe something. Woo! Sounds cray cray. Ow, ow. No, in the garage. Oh, yeah. Really? Really, babe? <laughs>